But uh, let's get our mayor in here, and I'm not going to make the cheap joke about potential future, future president. I didn't make it. Didn't say it. You didn't. Uh, mayor Garcetti is with us, and you've been taking all of this in as well. Yes. Now we have the earthquake in Mexico. We don't know how bad it's going to be. Mm -hmm. The uh, aftershocks are still continuing. Mm -hmm. It brings it back home here, doesn't it? Absolutely. And, and L.A. knows disaster. I mean, we've been through earthquakes. We just went through what was the biggest fire in 50 years. We had over 1,000 firefighters in 115 degree heat this weekend, knocking out that blaze. Incredible work. And we've got folks on the ground, actually, who had just helped out at Harvey. And they're staged now in Georgia, awaiting what's going to happen in Florida from Los Angeles Fire Department. So it's mutual aid. When we went down, the whole country came to us, vice versa. And it's kind of a sobering reminder, not just the presidents, but all this partisanship, all this rancor, all this so supposed division. When we need each other, we actually do step up and we do help each Mayor, other. Mayor, we're looking at some earthquake videos just coming in right now from Mexico. The storm, of course, hitting, this, uh, pardon me, this uh, earthquake uh, hitting off the coast of uh, Chiapas in southern Mexico, felt 500 miles away in uh, Mexico City. And, you know, when we get these early returns uh, from uh, uh, Mexico, we get a lot of the shots of where there are towns and cities, mm -hmm. but it's a very rural nation. Mm -hmm. So we won't know really the impact of this for some time. That's right. I mean, they're already saying over a dozen, I think, dead. Uh, the mayor of Mexico City, who's a dear friend, Mayor Mancera, is in Los Angeles today. Uh, we're going to be doing some work with him and whatever assistance that they need in Mexico, that's something that we've always done. And just as Mexico volunteered in Texas to come up and come north, you know, all these things that we're supposed to hate each other, people telling us that we're divided, um, human beings are human beings. And here in Los Angeles, it's a good reminder for all of us to have a plan, uh, to make sure that we know what's going to happen with our uh, uh, families, a place that if our cell phones stop working, we can go to. And I urge people to do that. By the way, you can text 888-777, prepare, and get emergency um, alerts from the city of Los Angeles so that you know what's happening, when it's happening. Can we go back to the mayor of Mexico? Yeah. Um, he must be on the phone with people getting yes. reports on what's going on. Have you talked to him? And has he we learned We haven't. Anything? I'm going to talk to him just after this. Uh, and he'll be in City Hall uh, later this morning. But um, I know that they were less affected in Mexico City, but they had some power outages. I don't know if there's been any fatalities there. But this is the kind of thing that keeps you know, leaders up late at night and I was talking to Mayor Turner in Houston all the time uh, when this was going down offering our help that he took us. You know you make an interesting point here about uh, when, when these things happen everything else seems petty. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mayor Turner in Houston was always at war with Governor Abbott yep. of Texas. Do they, do they bury the hatchet for this? Absolutely. It was great to see a governor in Texas say listen to your local leaders because we do know what's going on the ground. We do have the police. We do have the fire personnel. It wasn't a time for cheap shots or for partisan division. Um, and even, you know, when you look at uh, the emergency of our national government, you saw our president and Democrats working together this week, the first time probably in his presidency. Look, we can d agree to disagree on a lot of things, but if we can't come together on some basic things, we won't survive disasters can we come, and do well. Can we come together on the issue of DACA? I certainly hope so. We see uh, Republicans for the first time with Democrats introducing legislation, the DREAM Act, to finally make dreamers uh, have a pathway to be here permanently, not just temporarily, in the only country that they know. Um, to see guys like Lindsey Graham, uh, Jeff Flake, um, to see the Speaker of the House, uh, Paul Ryan, saying that he wants to make sure that we pass a legislative fix to that, that's encouraging. I strongly disagreed with the President's move. My grandfather was a dreamer. I mean, he came here as a one-year-old from Mexico, um, undocumented, became a veteran, fought in World War II, and now I'm mayor of L.A. So there's a pathway for the American dream for these folks, but Congress now has to say more than just words. It's Can time you, to act. What, what I'm curious about, and I don't think everybody right. understands, what is a sanctuary city? Right. And, and, yeah, what do you define it as? Is there a... So many definitions. If, right. it's, if it is defined that our cops don't become immigration agents, then we are, and proudly so. And that's been since the time of the late 1970s. Every police chief in a row has said that's the proper way to police. If it's a vision, though, that people have that somehow we're welcoming criminals, protecting them, and if they're undocumented, bonus points, that city doesn't exist here or anywhere in America. So we want to go after dangerous criminals, get them off our streets, but we also want to make sure there's a pathway to folks to become Americans. Um, it's the tradition of this country. It's been the strength of this city. It's, you know, who I am. I'm sure it's who all of us are at one generation or another. So 
Um, to me, I always say, tell me what you think it is, I'll tell you if we are. But we're not a place that protects criminals, but we are a place that defends our immigrants. So we are a sanctuary, LA is a sanctuary Well, city? the city council is going to take up the actual right. legal term. The, there is no is, legal there definition. There is no legal right. term. Yes. It's something right. that's used as a battering ram for people who hate immigrants yeah. or for those who want to defend them. They, they define it differently. So that's right. why I always say we are if it means that our cops aren't immigration agents. Yeah. Mayor, uh, there's a game going on now. Yes. Who's going to get Amazon? Yes. Uh, Amazon is go going to open a yeah. second headquarters here, yeah. 50,000 jobs, $5 billion and all the other spinoffs. Uh, to get that, you gotta give. Yes. So where are we with this? Well, you know, any one of these things, I always want LA to be in the game, and we immediately were. Whether it was the Olympics, the Lucas Museum, when there's these competitions nationwide, I think LA always has to compete. Um, we would be a great place. They want universities, 45 minutes to an international airport. Uh, they wanna have great tech workers. LA fits that bill. Now, whether they wanna have a second headquarters on the West Coast, uh, it'll be up to them. Um, I don't think that we should, you know, put taxpayers in debt for years to attract them. But I do think that the fundamentals, LA would be a natural place. But for them Amazon to bring wants this. perks. They want, they, they want sure. cities to give. Sure, mm -hmm. and, and LA is ready to do that with federal programs that already exist. For instance, we have two promise zones. I mean, imagine if they came into South LA or Central Los Angeles, where we already have tax breaks for businesses who help give jobs to Angelinos. That's something the federal government and the state already has in place. Um, they produce a lot of movies, and it would be a very natural thing, just as Apple is doing now in LA, as Netflix has done, to have their studio operations right here in Los Angeles. Maybe even one of the legacy studios here, they could buy and locate and put their uh, uh, headquarters right in the heart of Tinseltown. Fasc real, fascinating thought. Do we have a real huh? shot, yes or no? Yeah. Yes, we have okay. a real shot. Good. Absolutely. Hey, uh, thanks for coming by, Mayor Garcetti, Great as to always. See you. I'm off on Sunday to get the Olympics, so on Wednesday, we'll have the, the official vote. Oh, the, good. the final official yes, vote. In the, the final, official, final. official. Good, <laughs> good. Good to see you. Good to see you. We appreciate that.